So I've got one last thing to do before I take this tractor out of the garage here. I gotta start using this tractor, guys. It's mid-June and I gotta start mowing. However, the three-point hitch is stuck up in the air. Um, I think it's been that way for quite some time. Um, obviously, since I've had it, it's been up in the air like this. So I put the drawbar here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to take the David Brown and push that down. Hopefully, it's just sticky. Because what used to happen was the prior owner, whenever he bailed hay, he put the three-point arms all the way up, and they never, he never used them. So they've been in that position. So hopefully, just a little pressure from that tractor will kind of pop that free, and they'll work. Otherwise, I get to tear into the thing and figure out what's wrong with the three-point hitch. So hopefully, hopefully, we'll get lucky. First time it's been out of that garage all winter. Looks better than when it went back in though. We're already putting this thing to work. David Brown didn't have enough battery to turn over, so hopefully it will now. Let's see. Here we are, back in the garage. I don't know if you guys noticed on that last scene, but the three-point was not going up and down. Uh, something more is wrong with this thing, so I'm going to have to do some digging. Uh, a little frustrating, but what are we going to do? So one thing i got to do is fill the hydraulic reservoir, which that's the fill right there. And we're going to see if that thing is low. I'm going to check it. And this is where you check the level right here. Take that plug out. And you gotta have that reservoir filled to that point. So first things first, let's check the oil. And the second thing I'm gonna do is address the controls over on this side of the tractor. The selector valve is stuck in one position, and I'm imagining it's just because he never used the three-point hitch. He was always using the remotes, which were right here. And I believe it's all set up to use those remotes the way it is now. And I think it's been a number of years that it's been sitting there. And it probably just got a little sticky. It's been 10 years since this thing has even ran. And I imagine you probably used this tractor for a good 10 years with just the remotes on the back. So we're going to try to get that moving. Okay, so I filled hydraulic fluid up to this plug here. And I also filled the transmission that fills here with the plug on top of the shifter housing. And to check the fluid level of the transmission, you take this plug out and then you fill fluid in from this plug until fluid starts running out of this. So then you put the plug back in, you're all set to go. So I emptied a five gallon pail between the two of those. So hopefully we'll have some action on that three point now. 
This was the scene inside the transmission. Must have been a lot of water in there somehow. That must have been just about empty. Hopefully I didn't hurt anything by running it. So, anyway, we'll see. To fill the 5,000 uh, hydraulic reservoir in the transmission, I'm using up this case high tran fluid that I had whenever I bought my David Brown. The guy was gracious enough to give me some 80-90 weight, some transmission fluid, and also he included this new Holland 134, which I emptied that already, so I gotta get another one of those, but whenever I actually go through and, and drain the oil in this Ford, I'm gonna put new matching stuff in there, so this is more or less just to use up some of this fluid. This was new, this one was used, so I emptied that first. After a bit of messing around, I did finally manage to get this selector valve freed up. And this goes all the way in now, which it didn't quite before. It was it was almost like stuck kind of in the middle somewhere, which was kind of funky. Um, I don't know what the story was with that, but we're going to try it again. Hopefully this time we'll have action on the three-point. And it is in lift control. This can go down to draft control, I suppose. I'm not too familiar with that. So we'll try that out and see what the best situation is for what we're going to do with this three point. Also going to check the level of the fluid in this steering box and this plug here needs to be removed so I can fill that with gear oil
Hmm. Thing's thirsty. Now that I've got that uh, steering box full, I can finally get this trim back on underneath the dashboard. Finish it all off. 